Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't already, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot to me. Um, so today is going to be the Mac Daddy of collection videos. It's going to be my eyeshadow collection video. Um, now in this one, it's going to be all of my palettes. Um, I'm going to do a single shadows video um, probably sometime next week. So let's just go ahead and get into the video because I already know it's going to be a long one. So I'm going to start out with my, like a lot of my cheaper palettes. So the first one I have to show you guys here is this Color Mates palette. And this is, uh, doesn't look like they have a name for this one. Um, I believe this was purchased at the Dollar Tree. Um, and I tried it out and it wasn't too bad. I mean, for a dollar, uh, it really wasn't that bad. In this video, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of swatches because, I mean, it's really going to take forever. So here's this palette. And then I also have one that's never been opened. It's actually an LA Colors pal um, little trio palette here. Um, and this one is in the shade or the name Lotus. I believe my husband got this for me like at the Dollar Tree. He saw it and thought of me, so he picked it up. Haven't got a chance to use this one yet though. So there's that one. And then I have another LA's palette, uh, LA Colors palette. This one is in the shade Rose. And I have used this one a time or two. It looks like that. And it's not too bad either. Um, these shades right here are really, really soft. So if you can see in that one, um, I've really dug into that shade quite a bit. Um, so I have that one and then I have another LA Colors one and it looks like this and it's really cute. I think my husband picked this up for me at the same time as the other one as well. Um, and it's really cute. Um, the colors are really, um, more on the sheer side. So, but I mean, it was a dollar, so... Um, what else do I have? I have the Maybelline Blushed Nudes Palette. And this is what this one looks like. Um, this one is alright. I really don't love it. I've used it a couple of times. The colors are not very pigmented at all. So, um, it's just not something that I reach for that often. Um, kind of the same thing, in my opinion, with the Rimmel London um, Magnify Eye Smoke Edition. And this is what this one looks like. Um, and it's just also just not one of my favorite palettes either, so. Um, here's another Ma Maybelline palette. This is the City Mini palette. And I got this one because um, more for this mustard shade right here. Um, and it's okay. I mean, I don't not like this little palette. Um, I think I will probably use this palette when I do my um, full face of Maybelline video. So not too bad for a drugstore palette. Um, let's do some Wet n Wild. So I have this Wet n Wild palette here. It's the Nude Awakening palette. And that is what it looks like on the inside. Um, I've used this palette several times. It's nice, nothing wrong with it. Um, it's a quick little easy on the go palette. And then I have all three of the um, quads from the Wet n Wild Rebel Rose collection. So I have the um, quad bed of roses, um, secret garden rendezvous, and house of thorns. None of these have been used at all. Um, they are very, very dark and I just don't usually do dark looks, but i um, excited to try these out. Uh, Halloween's coming, so I'm excited to use some of these for some of those looks. Um, oh, looks like I missed one. Okay, this is a good one. Okay, this is the LA Colors Nude Eyeshadow Palette. 
I got this at the Dollar General for a dollar and I really like this. This is my favorite one dollar palette I've ever gotten. Um, really pigmented. These two shimmer shades are really shimmery. These two mattes are really nice. This is a wonderful transition shade. Um, and this matte is nice to deepen up the outer edge. So I do really like this. Um, a little quad a lot. All right. Um, all right. So let's see here. Let's take a look at my e.l.f. palette. And I want to say this is the only e.l.f. palette that I have. And I have never even used this before. So this is the Velvet Touch Eyeshadow. And it is... Um, Island Breeze. Let me take this off. I've never used it, so I can't really say yet what it is like. This is what the colors look like. And um, I got it in a Bless box back when I was still subscribed to them. Um, and it's really, I mean, the colors are really pretty. I don't know why I haven't used it yet. Um... I will definitely be putting this in a video very, very soon because I'm really interested to see how this is. All right. Now let's get into my only Essence palette that I have right now. It's the Essence Beautiful, so beautiful palette. These are the colors. It is so pretty. It's so fall. Um, and I really like it. This orange right here, I really like it. Really nice transition shade. Um, I haven't used the black yet, but it's a really nice little palette, um, and I want to play with that some more. Alright, I have two palettes from Milani, so let's take a look at those. I have the Milani Must, Most Loved Mattes palette, and this is what this one looks like. Um, it is also really gorgeous. I've used it several times now, and I really, really like this. I do like Milani's formula, and Milani eyeshadow is probably my second, yeah, my second drugstore favorite for eyeshadow formulas. So there's that one. And then I picked up this cute little guy here. Um, this is the Earthy Elements palette and I actually grabbed this on Amazon. I love it because one, perfect fall shades and two, it's just quick and easy. You don't have to do a lot of thinking. So you've got like eh, a good two, three looks you can get out of this palette and um, I really like it and the formula is really nice as well. So those are my two Milani palettes that I have and then okay, I've got this Believe Beauty eyeshadow palette here, which is in my um, video that I'm going to have going up, my full face of Believe Beauty um, video that will be going up very soon. This is what that looks like. Um, more information on the what I think about the formula on this in that video, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe to my channel, shameless plug. Um, all right, so let's get into some of the palettes that I've received in boxes. So we will start with this Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. Um, this is what this looks like. The packaging is cute, um, but I've only used it a couple of times and I think it is because of the cool toned shades that are in this palette. I'm not a huge cool tone girl, right? at least right now. So um, I keep it mainly because I like the packaging and because one of these days I may, you know, want or be into cool tones, um, shadows a lot more. So there's that one. And then along the same lines of, of that is this Real Her 2 eyeshadow palette. And it's in the shade or the name Do Your Squats. And this is what this palette looks like. It's really pretty looking. But same thing, it's really cool toned, and right now I'm just not into cool tone looks. I got this in a FabFitFun like a year ago, and I've used it a couple of times. Um, all right, so I got this Wander Beauty Wanderous Escapes palette, and this is what this one looks like. And this is really nice. I really like the um, pigment of this palette and the formula. 
the shades are nice. There's a, you know, a lot of foiled type shades in this one. I've used it a handful of times. I haven't used this, um, and I really want to, so maybe I'll do that soon. Um, but that is that palette, I believe. It was BoxyCharm that I got this one in. And then I have the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette. And this is what she looks like. Very, very pretty, very pigmented. Um, I do like this palette, but I really haven't used it very much either. So maybe I will um, soon, but it's just not something that I've been reaching for a lot right now. Uh, that one I believe I got in an Ipsy. And then I got this Butter London palette, which this packaging is so cute. I really, really like it. Um, and this is what this one looks like. It's so, so cute. I really like it. I uh, got this in a boxy charm, I believe, or an Ipsy. I don't know. But these are the shades here. Um, I think it's pretty. Like, it looks pretty. But I do not even think that I've used this on my eyes yet, to be honest with you. So I'll need to do that sometime soon as well. Um, so there's that one. And... Alright, I think I got two more. I've got this um, palette from the Balm. It's in the Balm of Your Hands. And this is what this looks like. And um, I haven't used this one on the eyes yet either. I actually got this in an Ipsy as an add-on. And I haven't used it. I haven't used these. I haven't used these. So I really need to do that um, sometime soon. I got it as an add-on because I really wanted it. Uh, and for $12, I just couldn't pass it up. But I haven't got around to using this. But this is one that sits. I have like this eyeshadow palette like holder thing and this one sits out as like um like decoration if you will so the same thing for this um moods palette it's laura sanchez moods guys i'm so bad i have not used this one either this is what this one looks like and it's really really pretty i have not used it but i really want to use this one and this is what the palette looks like on the outside so it's so super cute uh, it also sits out kind of like decoration as well so i've got that one which is super super pretty gosh i've got to use some of these palettes guys that is why you know i have this channel so i can play around with some of this makeup a little bit more all right um let's see here okay so the first high-end-ish um and by high-end I mean not drugstore drugstore palette that I've ever bought and was this Morphe palette and this is the 35F palette fall into frost and this is what she looks like okay so I got this palette because um I was just getting into makeup I heard about Morphe it's kind of like more of a mid-range brand and I really didn't know much about makeup when I got into it, but I thought, oh, look at all these colors. And I like them, but here's the thing. These are your mattes down here. And then you've got all of these shimmers. And the thing about all of these shimmers is they all have a brown undertone. So a lot of them end up looking the same. Um, and it's nice, um, it's well pigmented, it blends well, it's nice but I feel like the looks that I create with this don't turn out as different from each other as I would like. And with all of these shades, I would think I could get, I don't know, at least 10 standoff, standalone looks that just, you know, stand out from themselves. And I just don't really get that with this palette. Um, it is fall, so I'm sure I will get uh, more use out of it. It's been sitting in my eyeshadow drawer not being used so I'll take this out and play with this some more but I'm always going to keep it because it's my first palette that I ever like bought that I spent what I consider a decent amount of money on I believe I want to say it was like $30 um which doesn't sound like a lot but for me I'm pretty frugal so if I'm not getting it in a box um 
I'm not going to spend that kind of money on it unless it's something I've been wanting and wanting and wanting. Um, okay, so let's get into my Amazon finds. I have purchased three palettes from Amazon. One palette that I purchased was this Beauty Glazed Rock Metal Palette. Um, all right, so this is what she looks like. And what you just saw is why I would not recommend this palette. Um, not only are these shades like, uh, man, like they look pretty. I mean, look at that. They look pretty, but they just don't blend well. Um, this is not your dupe palette brand. Do not. No, no, no. Don't go with this. I mean, you just saw two fall out of the pan. This bad boy fell out when I first opened it. Look, another one just fell out. What just fell out? Hold on. Like a whole shade just fell out. Watch this. Watch this, guys. Oh, oh, there we go. So, um, no. Actually, this one needs to go in the trash. Like, it really does. Um, don't. Beauty Glaze, no. No, would not recommend. But, if I could recommend any dupe type makeup brand. I'm picking up all these pans. Hold up before I step on them and get eyeshadow all over my floor. All right. Okay. You have got to try You Can Be. This brand um, was the first makeup brand that I ever tried off of Amazon. And um, forgive me because I don't know right offhand what um, brand these are supposed to be duping. But look at this. Look at how beautiful that is. I want to say that it's a... I think this is a either Huda Beauty or Natasha Denona dupe. But the pigment is wonderful. Like, let me give you some. Let me give you some swashes on this. This was like 10 bucks. Look at that. Um, I use these all the time. This one um, is the Dreamland palette. And this one is the Twilight palette. Look at that. Now, you know this one's got some love. Look at that. Um, these are just, I don't even know what else I can say besides these are amazing. So I tried these two and I thought, well, this one's pretty. Let me try this. No. No, so I will be buying some more of these, definitely. Um, let me swash the other one. I know I haven't swashed any of the other palettes, but these are really, 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 really nice. Um, if you're looking for something that's going to do something that you really want. All right. And the shimmers are amazing. Buttery. Um, just amazing. So these were like 10 bucks each. Um, definitely if you're on Amazon and you're looking for something affordable, that's got pigment, that's got shimmer and mattes. And, um, maybe if you're looking to dupe Huda Beauty or whatever, here you go. All right. So I'm sure you guys at this point are like, all right, Erica, where are your profusion palettes because we know you love profusion you talking about them all the time you doing five looks one palette um all about profusion they're on my eyes right now um so where's your profusion well here they are girl uh let me pull them out i got one two three four five six profusion eyeshadow palettes so I'll start with the little baby ones. I got the Spectrum palette and the Mattes palette. Both of these are like five bucks. You can pick them up at Walmart. You can pick them up at Amazon. Um, they have some other ones that I want to try at the smaller ones. But this, let me think, hold on, let me think. Yeah, this was the first colorful palette that I ever bought because I don't wear colorful looks very often. And I did not want to spend a bunch of money on it. So five bucks. All right, let me give it a try. Wonderful, wonderful. 
And then the mats, you can all you can never have too many mats. Like, look, you got all these mats here. And then let me show you the colorful one again real quick. And there's all the colorful shades. These are wonderful, pigmented, blendable, wonderful. All right, and then, um, oh my God, guys, hold up. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. All right, uh, I thought I forgot a palette, but I didn't. This was actually what I'm about to show you is the first Profusion palette I ever bought. It was the Prof uh, Pigment palette. I got it at Walmart, 10 bucks. Um, I wanna say Emily Noel, um, is the first person that I ever recall mentioning Profusion. And um, I was just getting into makeup and I wanted something affordable, so I picked this up and I fell in love. It was amazing. Um, and let me get you a close up look here. Turn around that way. You got lots of shimmers, lots of mattes, um, pigmented, blendable, you know, can't say anything bad about them. And then, um, recently, actually, I just got three new Profusion palettes. So the first one that I picked up was the Sienna's palette. And it looks like this. And this is the one that I used the most out of all of them. I picked this one up specifically for this shade here and this shade here. Now, this shade um, needs to be built up, but it can be built up and it will be that mustard yellow that you want it to be. When I very first used it, I was kind of disappointed because I was just trying to slap something on and it didn't come out the way I wanted it. But the next time, um, I built this one up and it was perfect. So I love this palette. I used this one so far the most out of the others. And then, um, I have the Sultry palette. Now, I don't know much about this palette, um, or, you know, I don't know if this palette came out a long time ago, and that's why it's a 24 pal um, pan palette as opposed to a 21, but this is the only one that I have that's like this, so um, I've got this palette. I really like it. I've used it a couple of times so far, so maybe about four or five times like this one. And then right now, what is on my eyes today is the Wonderlust palette. This is the um, palette that I'm using right now in my um, Five Looks One palette video that I'm creating. So this is what this bad boy looks like. Look at that. This is so good. It's got, you know, as opposed to like, let's say, um, the Sultry palette. It's got all of these colorful shades, all of these colorful, and then you got you some neutral down here and a little bit of neutral up here. Whereas this one, you know, you've got your pop of color um, and majority neutrals. All right, so that is the last palette that I have in my eyeshadow collection. So thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel, like this video, um, and comment below on what palette you would like to see me use in a future video. Um, head over to Facebook at Fun Love and Makeup and follow my blog there. And then also um, head over to Instagram at Fun Love and Makeup and follow me there. That way, when I post my five looks, one palette videos, you will not only get the video with the look that I'm creating, but you'll also get the additional four looks to go with that palette. So um, as always, I hope everybody has a great day and bye.